my name is Renee. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to share with you a video tutorial where we're going to work in our shoulders, flexibility and mobility. If you practice aerial circus acrobatics like me, or you like to rock climb, or you do any sport that involves the upper body work, you know that it is crucial to have our shoulders strong and flexible at the same time. So for today, I'm going to need you to keep your yoga mat, to go and get a strap or a belt, either or, also, if you have a tennis ball or something similar, go and get it because it's going to be a nice surprise at the end. And a pillow to sit on or any elevated level that is going to help us to keep our hips higher and our spine neutral as we move. Go ahead, get all the stuff that you need and I'll be waiting here for you to start. All right. Sit in your comfortable position here. And then start bringing your chin towards your chest. We're going to start rolling your head. Slow and relax because the muscles of our neck are connected with our shoulders. And it's usually where we keep all the tension. Try to relax your mouth and your teeth and your jaw as you move. Keep your shoulders down. And you can keep your eyes closed or open as you prefer. Slowly make a pause when you get to be facing down. Stop here. And then start moving your head to your other direction. Check your spine position. Try to keep your spine nice and long. Relax in your lower back. Relax in your shoulders. And make a pause now when you have your right ear close to your right shoulder. Feel the nice stretch of the side of your neck, keeping both shoulders down and relax. Inhale and exhale and relax your lower back. Good, slowly move your head into your other side and bring your left ear close to your left shoulder. Keep both shoulders down and relax. Keep your spine neutral and supported by your core muscle. And keep your lower back relaxed. Nice. Come back to your center here. Open your eyes if your eyes were closed. And we're going to inhale, bring your chest forward. Exhale, round it on the spine. And go again. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, round it. Inhale. And exhale one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now keep your spine neutral again. Bring your hands on top of your shoulders. Start drawing a big circle here with your shoulders. Inhale, opening, exhale, lowering. If you need suffer in this position that I'm sitting on, change to sit to any other position you prefer. All right? Inhale, open. Relax and change from behind to the front. Big circles here. Go one more time. And down. Now extend your right arm in front of you, bring it really close to your chest and keep your shoulder down. Very posterior part of your shoulders stretch. The posterior is going to be the one that is behind here. Just a fancy word to say. And change your other arm really close, shoulders down. Don't bring your shoulder into your neck, keep it down. 
All right, now I want you to open your arms like in a T, palms forward, and you start rolling your palms up, all the way up, all the way behind you, all the way up, and all the way behind you. Inhale and exhale. Keep your spine supported. And as you do this movement, start raising your arms with your hands over your head, but keep your shoulders down and relax. Once here, lower all the way. Good, and release. Get your strap, the one that we were talking before. We're going to bring your palm, your arms forward, I'm sorry. And think that you want to draw a circle. You're going into your right side, up overhead, left side, forward, and start again. Inhale up, keep your shoulders down, left and forward. By saying shoulders down, I mean that this is not happening to you, okay? Keep it down as you move. One more time. Good. And switch the direction to the other side. If you involve a little bit your spine in the movement, like this circling, it's all right. It's okay. I'm pretty sure it feels good. It should. All right. One more time. And now I want you to start with your hands over your head and your elbows straight. Think that you want to bring this strap behind your head, bending your elbows, close your ribs, and up. So now I'm going to be on the side for you to see me. And keep your spine as neutral as possible, that this is not happening. Tailbone down as we move and up inhale exhale the last two i'm going to show you from behind so you can see the scapula movement from behind here and up and down and up let's do two more up and one more and up now keep your arms extended and the last last one is going to be this circling keep your elbows straight as you move be aware of how your scapulas are moving and change from behind to the front Good and good. All right, keep it down. Get your tennis ball. And it's gonna be to relax this tension that you might have in your trapeze muscles. Trapeze is this one right here, connecting your neck with your shoulder. And stay here and put pressure in any any spot that you have more tension. Just hold it and slowly release. We go on all the side, cross hands, okay? Cross hands, like if you're working on your right shoulder, is your left hand the one that is giving you the massage? Good. And the last one is going to be facing down and rolling the ball behind your neck, okay? This is also super good for releasing tensions. Put pressure close to the line of your hair. And you can do it as long as you want to release those tensions. Okay, let's inhale, raising your arms here. Go with side stretch, exhale. Inhale, center, side stretch on the other side. 
And now bringing the palms together in front of you in the Ajanali Mudra. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know how is your practice going. If you have any other suggestions, and press the like button, share it, or subscribe if you haven't to support these free tutorials on YouTube. My name is Renee. See you next time.